Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Modern Christianity, where we put God with the world first, together in one body. Today, we have a very special guest. She comes from the state of Iowa. Her name is Rebecca Evans. With her red hair, she's a firecracker for all. With me, would you please welcome the Bishop Prophetess, as well as the Intercessor for All Nations, Rebecca Evans. Hello, how are you? Are you all right? Welcome so much. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thanks for having me. Oh, I see you wearing um, a green dress. Oh, yes. I only wear green. Okay. Green is a prophetic statement of money and power. Wow. So I'm really into that. Like, we need to be, as Christians, we need to be into the money. And every morning I wake up and count my money and pray over it. So it's very, very spiritual. Wow. That is, wow, that is very If you have money, you have spirit. Wow. Like it's a godly thing. You heard it here, folks. If you have money, you have spirit. Now, what do you think about sex before marriage? Because now in the modern day Christianity, people are doing it more so than normal. Uh, <laughs> Did you just say the running around thing? I don't really... Uh, uh. Should we move on? Yeah, that's probably a little too inappropriate. Okay, no problem. Um, what do you feel like Jesus right now is currently speaking to his promised land Israel? I feel like he's saying gateway. Gateway. But and my number two rule is I always make sure that I'm fully dressed in my green. Okay. Because that's like really important. And then I read scriptures over myself of like blessings and righteousness. Okay. Like anything that's like gonna lift me up. Okay. I don't read any of the Gospels, none of like the condemning stuff, because we don't need it. Okay. Besides, unless it's against some of my gateways, then, then I like to proclaim it to people, but for me, I don't want to hear it. It's for other people. Okay. So once you've gotten to my station in life, there's no... I don't need it. it. Okay. I know the truth. So, no, Rebecca okay. Evans, thank you so much. Okay, what do you think about single men? Good-looking single men praying for beautiful single women. I think that's horrible because it starts out with the touch. And that's like a 30, like, I've heard that this thing that the Lord told me, he said, if you touch someone for more than two seconds, you get a connection. And once you get that connection, it's like a bursting flame. And it's really hard to get rid of it. It's hard for me to talk about because... It's really embarrassing. Wow. It's when people like do this stuff, and I'm like, hey, you're stirring up something you don't want started. And that's why so many people are just walking around full of lust and adultery wow. in their minds. Wow. So you feel like praying for single people of the opposite sex is a gateway to lust and adultery? Yes, it's a gateway. It definitely is. You start out like that, the next thing you know, you're pregnant on the side of the road. <laughs> wow. Yes. I know it's a laughing matter to you, but... A lot of people don't take it. Sorry, no, I'm, I'm not laughing at it, but it's just very interesting. Here at Modern Christianity, we have more of a broad view of the world and God together, so that's why I'm just a little yeah. shocked. But no, that's okay. We, we, we welcome all the different opinions. What do you think about kissing um, in bathing suits on the beach? Oh, it's the number one reason that... Pornography is as big of a thing. I'm sorry, I said that word. Like in my book, that's a uh, swear word. Okay. But I mean, you're walking out with nothing on. Besides yeah. one thing. I right. mean, I make sure every day that I'm clothed with ten items. So you know what I mean? Like a modesty thing. It's ten items. <laughs> I laugh because people are so dumb. So it's like, oh, I'm going out swimming. I should just wear one thing. It's like, get on your breastplate of righteousness, you know? Plus, breastplate of righteousness. Yeah, that's, that's good. Wow, so now with all of your merchandise that you sell, do you sell a rule book to Prophetess Becky and what oh, she... Oh, yeah. Okay. But that one's a little more expensive. Okay. It's $599. Okay. Because it's like my wisdom that I've learned over okay. the past 24 years okay. of being alive. Wow. Because when I was born, God said, you wear it or you lose it. Like this anointing mantle. Oh wow. So I wore it. 
and that's why I'm here today. Wow. Well, thank you so much for blessing us with your mantle. Well, you know, I try to help the lowlier Christian people that oh. haven't heard as much of the good news that I have proclaiming. Wow. So in